This video is sponsored by Invite to Elements. Hey, what's up guys? This is Wasi from FilmlineVisualEffects.com and welcome back to another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create a really cool particle logo animation inspired from a game called Ghost of Tsushima. So let's see what we will create today. If you want more tutorials like this then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Before I start the tutorial I like to tell you in this tutorial I am using third party plugin called Dracode Particular. If you don't have this plugin you can download a free trial version from the link in the description box below. Ok so first create a new composition. Let's call it main and I am going with 1920 1080p frame rate 24 and duration 10 second long then click on ok. Now import our project files and logo. You can download these project files from link in the description box below. Now select our logo and place it into this timeline. You can uh, use text as well. Now make it smaller little bit, something like that. Now select this layer, then right click, then choose pre-compose. Then select mobile attributes and rename it to logo. Then click on OK. Now go to project window and select our ink drop layer then place it into this timeline. Now make it smaller a little bit. Then right click then go to transform then click on flip a particle. Now as you can see the animation is a little bit slower so we need to uh, speed up the animation. So select the um, layer, then right click, then go to time, then click on enable time remapping. Now go to around 4 seconds and then increase the time remap. Something like that. Ok now select our logo layer then change the layer track mat to luma mat sorry luma inverted mat now you can see a very nice animation Okay. Now select these two layer, then right click, then choose pre compose, and then select mobile attributes and rename it to logo reveal. Now click on OK. OK, now uh, uh, turn off visibility of this layer. Now create another composition and let's call it emitter then click on ok now go to project window and select our logo comp then place it into this timeline and then uh, go to around uh, 4 seconds and then uh, select this layer and go to toolbar and select rectangle tool then create a max something like that then press v on your keyboard then double click on this max path then rotate something like this design better projects faster with Envato elements get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready to use template for your digital projects create more with premium design assets video templates mockups fonts presentations photos audio files and more 
all with commercial license for extra peace of mind. Inventor Elements will make any projects better while saving your time, efforts and money. Get unlimited downloads with Inventor Elements and start creating today. Now go to Max 1, then create a uh, keyframe on Max path. Then go to around 7 seconds and then double click on this Max path. Then change the position, something around here. Now increase the feather amount, maybe um, 37 perfect now go to our main composition and then select our emitter comp then place it into this timeline now turn off visibility of this layer and make this layer 3d by clicking here okay now create a um, black solid layer so right click new then click on solid and uh, rename it to particular then click on ok now go to effect and preset window and search for particular now select this effect and apply onto this black solid layer okay now go to emitter and an emitter per second set it uh, 1 triple 0 triple 0 then uh, emitter type set it uh, light s and then velocity set it 0 and velocity random set it 0, velocity distribution set it 0 and velocity from motion set it 0 and emitter size set it xyz uh, individual and size x set it 0, size uh, y set it 0 and size z set it 50 then change the emitter type to layer and then go to layer emitter and layer set it our emitter comp and then layer sampling set it particle bath time okay uh, now uh, now go to particle then life uh, per second set it uh, 2.3 and then sphere feather set it zero and particle per second uh, particle type set it clouded and size set it uh, two size random set it 90 and then go to size overlap and then click on preset then choose the second preset then go to uh, opacity over life then select this second preset perfect now go to physics then go to air and then uh, wind x set it 200 and wind y set it minus 58 perfect now go to turbulence field and effect size set it 5 and effect position set it 150 okay now um, turn on visibility of this uh, logo reveal layer now select this um, logo reveal layer then go to effect and preset window and search for linear wipe now select this effect and apply onto this uh, layer now change the direction to something minus uh, 140 degree or maybe 135 or 36 degree then press u and delete this to keyframe then go to around uh, maybe four seconds and then decrease the transition completion amount 
then set a keyframe now go to around um, maybe seven seconds and then transition completion set it uh, 100 or maybe 74 percent and then increase the feather amount to 40 Okay, let's uh, adjust the timing. Perfect. Okay, let's ramp view this. looks good to me okay now uh, go to project window and select our flying leaves layer then place it into this timeline now uh, select this uh, layer then right click then go to transform then click on flip particle then increase the size and then go to uh, effect and preset window and search for curves then select this uh, effect and apply onto this layer then change the rgb curves then go to effect and preset window again and search for tint then simply select this effect and apply onto this layer it's really good now select this layer then go to around eight seconds then press t on your keyboard then select uh, select set a keyframe on opacity and then go to end of this layer and opacity value set it zero okay uh, now create a null object so right click new then click on null object now select your logo reveal particular and flying lips layer then paint it to null one then simply go to beginning of this animation then select this null one layer then press s then increase the scale amount to maybe 120 then set a keyframe and then go to around um, maybe uh, three seconds and then scale amount set it 100 then go to end of this animation and scale amount set it to 80 now select this first keyframe and move it a little bit forward Okay, now select all keyframes then press F9 then open graph editor then simply change the graph curve to something like this now select these two keyframe then double click then check this option then click on ok and simply change the position Okay, let's ramp view it. Our animation is complete. Press zero to ramp view this. I hope you like this tutorial, thank you very much, I will see you in the next video, till then, peace out.